Christelle Abello. Christelle spent 20 years in California and Okinawa and has competed as an athlete in Hong Kong, South Korea, and Guam, making her a well-rounded person who appreciates all kinds of cultures. Miss Albay, Paula Ortega. Paula is a nurse and a lab technician who loves babies, dogs, and dancing. Not necessarily in that order, she says. Miss Angeles City, Christine Nicole Silvernale. Cole is a medical lab science student who once saved the life of a street dog by a CPR. She also plays the piano and ukulele, and she believes in the power of positive affirmations. Miss Antique, Giselle Marie Roberta. Giselle is a nurse by profession and a beach lover by nature who loves shooting guns in her free time. Quite an interesting hobby. Miss Baguio City, Bea Teresa Mainigo. Bea has joined 10 pageants and plays in nine of them. One of her favorite words in her local dialect is baktit, which means crazy. She also believes that one must love yourself before you can love others. Miss Batanes, Jan Alexis Elcano. Alex won when she was barely one year old as the best looking baby in their province. When airports closed down due to the pandemic, she had to endure two nights of travel in a cargo vessel just to make it to Manila in time for this pageant. Miss Batangas, Natalia Orsia. Natalia is a past swimming champion who later turned into the Zoopilis, someone who is emotionally attached to animals. She is also a beach lover who considers marine conservation as one of her advocacies. Miss Biliran, Skelly Ivy, Florida. An only child brought up by a single mom, she experienced bullying at an early age. No wonder she is a passionate advocate of embracing uniqueness through inclusive education of learners with special needs. Miss Bohol, Pauline Amelings. A proud Boholana, Belgian, Pauline has created a children's coloring book to raise kids' awareness on marine life preservation. 
she admits to being a sweet tooth, which goes perfectly with her sweetest smile. Miss Bulacan, Dianella Luis Loya. Dianella is an advocate for Philippine culture and arts, especially folk dances. She also believes that despite the challenges posed by this pandemic, we must get back on our feet and dance to the beat of our lives. Miss Cagayan Province, Marie Danica Reynes. Danica grew up in a remote municipality with no electricity, which made her learn not to take anything for granted. In 2013, she represented the Philippines in the vocal category of the 2013 World Championships of Performing Arts in Hollywood, USA. Miss Camarina Sur, Crisia Lynn Moreno. She is a USD magna cum laude graduate with a degree in travel management. Her favorite Picolano word is magayon, which means beautiful, to which I say, magayon ka, Miss Camarina Sur. Cantanduanes, Sigrid Grace Flores, a consistent honor student who later turned into a missionary and motivational speaker. She considers yellow as the color of phenomenal women because it symbolizes joy and hope, two things that we need most. Miss Cavite, Kimberly Hackinson, a multifaceted woman who believes that the youth must focus on self-awareness and appreciate your power. During her interview, Billy bravely declared that she is bisexual. Let's give a hand for Billy, who is out and proud and proudly representing Cavite. Miss Cebu City, Tracy Maureen Perez. An industrial engineer and a model, Tracy loves science fiction films and the flip-top culture. She encourages everyone to be grateful and to celebrate the diversity of Filipinos. Miss Cebu Province, April Smith, a strong advocate for sports through anti-bullying and anti-discrimination. She hopes to inspire the youth to accept oneself, to know your worth, and to break stereotypes of candidates in pageants. Miss Davao City, Eliza Flor Molinao. 
She grew up in a farm, became a varsity scholar, and graduated with a BS psychology degree before she entered modeling and represented our country in Asia's Next Top Model. She is now an entrepreneur committed to educate farmers on sustainable agribusiness. Ms. Davao del Norte, we am Ahmed. We am advocates promoting her province and their banana fabric. Her favorite native word is padayon, which means continue. No matter how many times you fall, you must keep going to pursue your dreams. Miss General Santos City, Marielle Joyce Pasqua. MJ is a MassCom graduate who lost her flight attendant job during this pandemic and now works as a marketing consultant. She is an active advocate of the movement Next Is Me to inspire the youth to focus on self-respect. Miss Eloko Sur, Adelma Crisel Benicta. A nurse by profession, Adelma won the local pageant after her third try. Raised by strict parents, she finally found her first boyfriend at the age of 24. She believes that purity is vital to becoming a phenomenal woman. Miss Iloilo City, Rabia Mateo, an Ilonga Indian biracial beauty. She grew up in a poor and broken family. Through her mom, she learned the values of forgiveness and hope. She loves their local phrase, Basta Ilonga Guapa, because she truly is beautiful inside and out. Miss Iloilo Province, Kim Chi Crisaldo. Born in South Korea, Kim holds an Ateneo master's degree in business administration and currently works as a PAL flight attendant. She learned early on how to celebrate diversity and to appreciate life in general. Miss Isabella, Maria Regina Malana. Regina spent her high school years in Saudi Arabia before becoming a dentist. A fan of adventure travel, she loves hiking, paragliding, and hopes to try skydiving. Miss Kalinga, Noreen Victoria Mangawin. Noreen is proud to be the first ever Kalingan candidate of Miss Universe Philippines. As a civil servant, she supports efforts for better representation of the Kalinga indigenous group. Miss La Union, Trisha Ocampo. Trisha owns a family clinic and a wellness center and is a strong advocate for breast cancer awareness. 
She plays volleyball, bowling, and table tennis. But she also considers eating as a sport that she excels in. Miss Laguna, Joanne Flores, a UP Diliman Magna Cum Laude graduate, Joanne is currently a hotel director and mentor. She has conquered her fear of heights by venturing into cliff diving, mountain climbing, and bungee jumping. Miss Makati City, Ivana Camille Passes. Ivana is a professional events host, model, and writer. Having gone through anxiety attacks and challenges in her life, she has become an advocate for better mental health education and awareness in our country. Miss Mandawi City, Lou Dominique Pixon. A former Taekwondo senior red belter, Lou is a model and account executive who defines herself as Palapan, a fighter in every life challenge. Miss Manila, Alexandra Abdon. Alex is a nature lover who loves to dress down and take long road trips. She hopes the youth will focus on becoming the best versions of themselves and to stay away from negativity and fake news on social media. Miss Marin Duque, Maria Leonina Macalino. Nina hails from what is considered as the heart of the Philippines, and she has been inspiring others to use their hearts and spread love and kindness rather than pursue power and fame. Miss Mesamis Oriental, Caroline Joy Veronilia, an Ateneo de Cagayan Magna Cum Laude graduate who specializes in development journalism. She loves Japanese comics and animation films. She loves the Visayan word Puhon, which means hopefully, someday, in God's time. Miss Montelupa City, Maricres Castro. Born in Seattle, USA, Marmar speaks five languages, including Spanish, French, and Kiika Onde, an African language. She believes that you must take pride in your heritage and skin color and be proud of who you are. Miss Oriental Mindoro, Adi Hitomi Akiyama. Adi is half Japanese but considers herself 100% Filipino in heart and soul. She now has a Doctor of Medicine degree and works at the Medical Center of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. She hopes to promote the Mangyan handwoven fabrics and cultural heritage.
Miss Palawan, Jennifer Linda. At 12, she already started her career as a model, and by the time she reached 18, she has already won 10 titles in local pageants. Jennifer is an island girl who advocates for the environment and the preservation of natural resources. Miss Pampanga, Patricia May Santos. Patricia is a consular and diplomatic affairs graduate, a creative writer, and an outreach organizer. She hopes to promote the Miamit Falls in Porat Pampanga, which, like her, looks fierce outside but is truly soft-hearted and peaceful inside. Miss Pangasinan, Maria Nina Soriano, an all-around athlete who won in fencing, swimming, and dancing competitions. Nina is an elementary education graduate who volunteers for evangelistic crusades and outreach ministries. Miss Paranaque, Maria Isabella Ismael. Isabella is a niece of former Miss Universe Margie Moran, a ballerina since the age of four and a De La Salle BS Psychology graduate. She practices meditation and believes in giving everyone a chance to live the life they envision for themselves. Miss Pasay City, Sandra Nicole Santa Maria. Sandra is a songwriter and plays the ukulele. She wears a size 12, and because of her height, she used to be delegated to male roles in her high school theater. Being a flight attendant fulfills her dreams of traveling and becoming one with nature. Miss Pasig City, Rihanna Agita Pangindian, a licensed teacher and a professional model who has embarked on an online baking business during the pandemic. As a victim of bullying, she mentors the youth to encourage them to live a life with meaning and purpose. Miss Quezon City, Michelle Teresa Kumaba, an athlete, model, and motivational speaker. Michelle knows what it means to be a winner, having been victorious in volleyball tournaments and pageants before. In 2014, she started her own Michelle Kumaba Volleyball Camp to instill core values of sportsmanship to the youth. Miss Quezon Province, Faye Dominic Deveza, a USD graduate who currently works as a vendor in their local market store. Faye loves the word kalikasan because it represents Mother Nature and how vital it is for our future.
Miss Rizal, Erika Evangelista. A former medical representative and a business manager, Erika has finally fulfilled her dream of becoming a fashion designer. It was Miss Universe Philippines, Gazini Ganados, who encouraged her to join this pageant. Another dream fulfilled. Miss Romblon, Marie Fee Tahara, a former flight attendant, Marie Fee holds a diploma in acting from the International Academy of Film and Television. During the pandemic, she sold her own clothes and donated the proceeds to the less fortunate in her community. Miss Surigao del Norte, Carissa Rosel Kiza. At the age of 14, she started joining local pageants and has collected more than 10 titles along the way. She is a member of her school's theater arts organization and debate club society. Miss the Gig City, Sanja Lemona, a French Filipina beauty who was raised in Macau and attended a Chinese and Portuguese school. She was once placed first in a declamation contest and loves to express herself through drawing and painting. Miss Zamboanga del Sur, Perlin Cayona, a licensed criminologist who hopes to join a law enforcement agency soon. Perlin is an active social media engager who in her native language embodies Matibang Anun, a kind and helpful person who is willing to take a risk for others.